You know what's cool is my coach Greg, right? He programs online, affordable, 20 bucks a month. But he has the same program if your total is 300 pounds or 2,300 pounds, which means it's time to do some work. All right, so we, we gotta go get the most essential, the most essential piece of equipment of any powerlifting workout, a chair. Here we go. Second rep on that got a little squirrely, tilted forward a little bit. Had to bring it back on because I got on my toes. So yeah, you, you gotta have a little bit of forward momentum stopping power in case you like mess up a little bit like I did right there. And that fatigued the core a little more than usual um, because the core helps me stay rigid. And uh, that made the third rep a little rougher than the other set. So tiny, tiny little, little, mess ups when you get to heavier weights. I mean, this isn't that heavy, it's just 745. Um, heavy weights, I mean like 950 plus. Um, like my second attempt at um, my last meet, I think it was 965, I, in, I got on my toes. I had to pull it back so it looked like I pretty much paused in the hole. Um, I knew exactly what happened, got on my toes. Um, so it looked like a grinder. When in reality, I was just working on pulling it back to get back in the groove. And that's why the 1005 looks stupid easy because I stayed in the groove. Um, happened once before at the uh, Christmas Carnage meet um, on 875. Was it 850? I don't quite remember. I inched forward. Yeah, it was 850. I inched forward. I had to pull it back. It looked like a grinder. Third attempt, flaws of form. 875 flew up like an opener. So tiny little 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 mess ups can derail a lift. But if you have the power to fix it, you gotta fix it. And the number one thing that you can do to avoid shenanigans like that is have perfect form. Because if you have perfect form, you don't have to fix mistakes from not perfect form. So air squats. Lots and lots of air squats. I did the air squats today, I didn't record them because who wants to watch air squats? I mean, I speed them up as it is and eh, I do air, I, I mostly record it for, for uh, self accountability sake and, and letting people know that they're skipping out on the most important exercise for getting the squat up. So do the air squats, get your perfect form. It's a little difficult because your center of gravity changes as you add weight to the bar. So you gotta make sure that you're keeping your chest upright while doing air squats um, to kind of simulate squatting with a bar. You don't wanna be good morning in all your air squats just to get low. You don't want too much, um, it's not pelvic tilt, it's um, upper body angling tilt, whatever. Um, you just gotta make sure that you're squatting with good form and then you won't have to recover from a bad lift. That's all it is.
bad part about deadlifts is that it destroys the, the shoulders and the elbows. So I swapped my squat and bench day so that uh, on bench days, I'm not fighting the, the shoulder and elbow fatigue from squats um, on bench day. So I don't go squat bench deadlift uh, throughout the week. I go bench squat deadlift throughout the week. Um, this is the only downside to, to squatting. I mean, I like the buffalo bar and that relieves some of the pressure off the shoulders and elbows, but you don't compete with a buffalo or a duffalo bar. So it doesn't make sense to do the priority um, the priority movements, the the um, majority of your, your work on a bar that you don't use um, on the platform. So, I mean, it's it sucks, but at the end of the day, it's the best thing. So, I mean, during hypertrophy, I used the Buffalo bar and that felt good. Um, I believe there's probably a threshold uh, percentage-wise where a Buffalo versus straight bar is, is beneficial. Um, but I don't really talk to many people who um, are experts on different bars. It's just straight bar, straight bar, straight bar for me. Um, that's it. So I don't actually know what the weight on this um, lat pull down machine is because they're labeled one through 20, one, one through 20. So I don't really know exactly what each pound is. I've been guessing, but I got this little, little buddy and the idea popped in my head. This will tell more than just band tension. This will also tell actual weight, probably more accurately. So each number is 10 pounds. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends because you probably have more friends than I do. Um, and stay tuned because next time we put the lotion on the skin or we get the hose again. Not this lotion, this one expired in 2020 and that would probably cause an infection. Don't want an infection, do we?